Hello and welcome to Butler HQ. And today we'll be changing the chain tensioner on an E34 540, as well as a funnel change. So if that might interest you, stick around and we'll show you how. First, you need to remove the royal cap, filter cap. Always remove this first because if you drop the oil first and this is stuck on, it's going to be a bad day for you. Also, before you change the oil on the car, get it up to operating temperature first. So the oil is um, like a bit more watery. I must admit this is a tad more watery than I'd like it to be. But I want it out. Come just like that. See like that. Remember to put your oil filter lid on so nothing gets in there while you're doing everything else. Before you drop any oil or anything is to check that your old filter is the same as your new one. It might look suspiciously different. Oh your old car part. Let's check it on the lid. As you can see That does not fit out of that core and that does fit there, so useless. We have new filter. And the filter should look like this. We don't look like that, it's for wrong one. Please remember all the tools I'm using will be will be shown at the end and links to the filter and oil we're using will be down below as well as a part number for the tensioner. Now you want to get onto your car and find the sun plug which is there and I'll back out so you can sort of see where about it would be which is there. You need to undo that but make sure you've got a big container underneath because oil is going to come out there quite fast and you're going all over your nice driveway but make sure you've got enough storage about 10 litres of storage for all the oil that comes out because you've got to store it somewhere now a couple of turns then you want to be putting the, your catch underneath Make sure you've got some good hand moving skill. Make sure your engine's hot as well. Like I said previously. Longer thread. Oh, got you. Yeah. <laughs> so it could be oil's warm, it's coming out easier. Now to change the, the bowel, you have to put a plug back in. If you've got a big enough bowel, we'll just let it all come out. You need about 9 litres of capacity. Well, it's eight, eight, seven yeah, but we took to drain it out yeah, safely. Drain it, yeah. And drain it back into an oil bottle and drop it off as a certified um, recycling plant or paint your fences with me. Oh. Once the bulk of the oil is out, Loosen the oil cap, it should come out even more quicker then. Always remember to 
always use a quality filter because your engine depends on it and don't forget always use a new washer when putting the sump plug back and all OE filters should all always come with a new seal and a new washer it's time to create your correct oil filter we simply push it in place you've got to remove the seal from the housing cap the oil housing cap like so like that remember to put oil on your new seal so it seals and sits properly like so so look that start it by hand first remember that's cut the go just do it with um, a spanner or a socket no need to overly tighten it because it'll just no need that's the filter changed and now it's time to change the tensioner and we believe at Butler HQ the best time to change that is with new oil to do that we need to remove the air box start off by removing your math sensor math sensor plug just springs off and tuck it under there then you need to remove the bolt and holding well, nuts, bolts, there's in the corner, holding your air box in. Once you've done the two, you just need a flat headed screwdriver to remove the Jubilee clip or um, intake pipe. As grand words say you do do a bit and it comes out. That's one removed air box. We've put the socket on the the part you're looking for as a reference so you can see. Now we've been doing this on um, a 546 speed manual touring, so stuff might look different, but it'll, it will always be there on um, an M60 B40. So we've cracked one up now. Bolt tensioner. And now it comes out. There it is. So look at that. So look at it. That is that. Now on that mug shock here, but that is not all that bad, is it? No, really, because TBL, TBL, so uh, black six speed manual, that was like clipsed. So, all right, too bad. scratch that, viewers. That's the old one, and that's the new one. So, look, like says, even though we are in the home of the BMW 34, we are not right on 100% of things, and you know, we do make mistakes. So, that. That is gone. TBL's one just shot out, which is weird. Maybe TBL's one will go. Oh, maybe. It, yeah. Maybe. But that's the new one. That's the old one. Goodbye. Hello. I think it's a bit of a fuss. Um, I think the one finger up and twist it with your brand is the best approach. I'll put the fuse box and remove fuse. 23 like so it's time to add some good stuff some oil remember a link to the oil and all that will be in the description below we normally put five litres in straight off then we go off the dipstick then make sure you're on a level ground but we will put the official specs in the end streams for those of you who want to be super careful before you put the oil in, make sure you put the drain plug back in. I have known that before, people fill the oil up and forgot to put a drain pipe in and there's a big puddle of 
oil under the car after, which is a waste of money and it's going to hurt the environment as well. So make sure the sump plugs back in. I have to make you aware that if you do use the links to the oil or the filter from the links to below, we will put the HQ be earning a couple of pennies from the sale, but you don't have to pay any more. It's just we get a commission off Amazon for posting that link, but it's no more cost to you. You still get liberty or it's no more, it's just we get a couple of pennies off Amazon for posting a link. And I have to say that for legal reasons. Now with the engine with oil in it, we've topped it up now and we've removed the fuse for the fuel pump. We can set the start the engine for the first time after the chain tension and oil spot. Now you might be asking why would we take the fuse out? Well basically if it's got no fuse, no fuel, look the engine can't crank over and start. So the oil will still be going around the engine. Thus the chain will be adjusting before the engine starting to limit any damage that might be caused. Now we're going to start it there for the first time. It won't start with this because you've got no um, fuel pump fuels. Oh. Now I'm going to put the fuse back in. The fuel pump fuse is back in. First start with a new oil and new tensioner. Right. So now we gave spin it um, as much as we needed to when we took the fuel pump out. We've done it again for about a minute. Yeah. Then we've just started up and it's as good as gold. So I'll call it before enough before we put the fuel um, fuse back in. Crank it over a couple of times. So folks, that's how you change a cam centre and the oil on a BMW 34540. Anything you want to add, Bob? And it's a flipping job well done. She's now really quiet now. Yeah. No rattles or, or, or nothing, ticking or nothing. nothing. Flipping. Yeah. We had a bit of a scare at the end because we didn't crank it out but we had the fuse in the fuel pump long enough. Long enough. But we have it's been a right pain in the in the bum. It's about to take about half an hour to do really. Yeah. And we've done it in half an hour before, but the bolt was missized. We'd lost uh, this tool we didn't normally have for doing it. It was a right mess about it. That's why we've been filming the dark now. I just want to add um, after this I'll show you all the tools with viewers there will be links in the description t um, for the oil and the proper filter now I've just got to say again if you do buy from the links below you will not pay any more but we'll get a commission off Amazon of like 20p, 30p and that's what helps us um, with the mountain so if you want to buy some oil and the proper filter we'll get the links down below and help us out yeah, yeah. but until next time Bye-bye. Bye-bye.